What's going on everyone? Colby here with Colby's Cards and today I'm doing a video that I've wanted to film for quite a while. It might be a little bit long so bear with me. Um, I might chop it into two parts but I wanted to show off my number one PC guy Starling Marte and what cards I've got of his, um, what cards I'm still hoping to get. You know obviously he's still a current player so he will have more cards that come out, uh, but I wanted to show off my PC of Starling Marte. I'm going to start with the early cards and probably finish with the 2023 cards that I have so far. Um, so yeah, I mean, I guess we can just go ahead and jump right in. Uh, this box right here, it's one of those BCW, I think they call them shoe collector boxes, but they fit graded cards as well. Um, so I wanted to make sure because I do have a few graded cards here um, that they were able to fit nicely inside of here. But I have each of the sets of cards um, divvied up by year. Um, and you'll kind of see as I go through these what they are divvied up as. Um, I do need to create a note card for 2023. Probably starts around here. Um, but yeah, so it's it's based on the year that the, the note cards show are based on the year the card was manufactured, not necessarily the year that I got them or not necessarily, um, you know, the year that the product was released. Um, so for example, if you think about Chrome, is it, I think it was Sonic this year or Cosmic, I, I get the two mixed up. I think it was Sonic, um, the most recent one. So Marte was in that set, but... It was released in 2023, but it still counts as a 2022 card because it was 2022 Chrome Sonic. Um, so yeah, so without further ado, I'll go ahead and get started. Um, I will get out the first chunk of cards here. Um, so Starling Marte, his rookie year was technically 2012, um, of which you will see here in one second. Let me get the best viewing angle for the cards. I'm gonna back this up a little bit. Um, here we go. I'm actually going to turn this. There we go. All right. So 2011, um, Sterling Marte does have some cards from 2011. So within Bowman Sterling, we can see a Bowman Sterling here, pre-rookie autograph. Um, this one is something I, I really, really enjoy getting some of his early cards as well. Um, so that's been really fun. I'm hoping in the editing process of this video, I want to go ahead and try to add uh, what I paid for the card and what they're worth currently and then I might do like an updated version of this to see You know what they're worth in let's say a year or two years or something like that. So um, So far we have the 2011 I believe Bowman Sterling uh, Autograph and this is kind of a chromed up finish I also have this card here. It is the 2011 all-stars futures game uh, from Bowman with the piece of Jersey in there and this is not numbered i do have some of his first bowman chrome cards uh as any collector would right um so bowman chrome first bowman chrome came out in 2011 believe it or not and then his rookie year was 2012 um so it is kind of cool i have two of these uh it is kind of cool to see how his autograph has changed over the years so obviously they he probably signed this as like a 18 or 19 year old or something like that and then I do have this card in the green prism as well. Um, the green prism is not numbered. This was one of those unnumbered parallels. Um, but I do technically have two base of the chromes and one green. Moving right along here, 2012. I'll go ahead and, I guess, put the note cards down because that'll be easier for me to re-put them in together. Uh, I do have a bunch of these rookie cards. So these are the official... Starling Marte rookie cards, um, 2012 Tops update. You can see update series 109. Uh, these rookie cards are in pretty good condition. I'm really happy with them. I think I've gotten one on eBay or maybe two on eBay. Uh, and then I got one at an LCS for literally 25 cents. So I could not pass it up. I'm always going to get uh, as many of these as I can. Uh, I don't have any parallels, I don't think, of his true Tops rookie card. Uh, but that's something I'm always on the hunt for. But I do have three of those. Uh, and then I do have a graded Gem Mint 10 um, Tops Update 2012 rookie card of his as well. Again, these three that I showed you that are raw, 
really great condition. They do have the white border, which makes it a little bit easier, um, but the corners are good. The centering is good. I haven't really inspected the surface of them, but uh, I did want to get one in a Gem Mint 10. I did purchase this already graded. I think it was around $50. Um, so I did not grade it myself. I've actually never submitted to PSA yet, but uh, I do hope to do that sometime in the future. Uh, this card here is a the first Panini product, I guess you could say. Uh, this actually came from, I actually don't know what product this came from. I can't remember. Um, Panini Signature Series Baseball is what it says on the back. I'm not sure if that was part of a greater release. Uh, but regardless, I really like this. So there's actually a secondary version of this um, that instead of the rated rookie, it's obviously a manufactured like rated rookie patch. And then they also have one that has the little, I want to say it's like a gold cup or like a gold like players association, like this thing, this logo here. Um, so I, I want to get both. Uh, both of them are autographed. You can see it's kind of signed on the cloth there. This card's not in the greatest condition. The corners and edges are slightly bumped, um, bummed out. Got it that way. I purchased this at the at my LCS for like 15 bucks. Um, so I really can't complain, but uh, definitely excited to have that one. And I would love to get the other one. I had just have not seen it in, on eBay or anything. Uh, this one here is 2012 as well. This is the Bowman's Best card here. This is not autographed either. I'm not actually sure if this is a green parallel or if this is just what the cards looked like. I should probably look that up and figure that out. Um, but Bowman's Best from 2012, again, kind of a chrome finish to the card. And you can see here that this is from whenever he was number 46, apparently, probably one of those just spring training, you know, jerseys that uh, some of the prospects get, you know, they don't have their final numbers until they're actually go called up. Uh, this is from Bowman Platinum of 2012, which is pretty sweet. I do have, I was going to say, I thought I had one. Uh, I do have the gold parallel of this. So this is 46 of 50, and this is the base variation. I um, should probably keep those together. But this one here is not necessarily chromed up, but this one here is um, probably, again, because it is that gold variation. Uh, but both cards are the same on the back. And again, this one is numbered 46 of 50. Uh, and then here's another insert. This is an insert from Bowman Platinum of the same year, 2012 Top Prospects, not numbered. Again, same kind of style to the back there. Uh, Panini, so this is from Panini Prism from 2012. Obviously had to get the Prism rookie, or the Panini rookie, as well as the Tops rookie. So this has the larger rookie logo in the top right corner. Starling Marte, rookie card from 2012. And then this is from Bowman Sterling in 2012. The first card I showed you was from 2011, so this is the autograph from 2012. Really wanted to pick this one up because it has that rookie card emblem there. And uh, again, you can see that autograph really, really nicely there on the card. And this one is not, I don't believe this is a parallel. I think this is just the design of the cards, but again, I will confirm. Um, so moving on to the next year which would be 2013. So again, rookie in 2012, um, and now moving on to 2013. Um, so I do start off here with this first card from Bowman. So this is the regular paper Bowman card uh, from 2013, as well as the gold parallel there of it. Um, for some reason, the gold parallels in Bowman, um, I guess, weren't numbered because this one's not numbered. Uh, and then I do have the base chrome variation as well of that same Bowman card. Now moving into some of the other Topps products, uh, Topps Gypsy Queen. I did purchase both of these. I didn't realize I already had one, but I do have duplicates of this. Um, both of these unnumbered. The backs of these cards are hideous, by the way. Just this weird, like, mustardy yellow color to them. Um, but still a cool Gypsy Queen card nonetheless. I would love to get one of these signed by him in person or through the mail. He's not a big through the mail signer, but if you can catch him in person, I know he does take some time out for the fans. Uh, here's a nice pinnacle card. So this is obviously a um, Panini product. So 2013 Panini pin pinnacle baseball. Not 100% sure if this was like a Chronicles product or if pinnacle was its own product back in 2013. I was not collecting then, so I have bought these more recently in the last two years. Uh, this one's in really good shape too, except for this top left corner with being an all black card there. Definitely could be tough. 
Uh, here's a Starling Marte, obviously Starling Marte, um, but a 2013 Topps Heritage design. Like this card a lot, has that kind of classic heritage back to it. Um, so definitely enjoy this card a lot. And then moving back to Panini, this is from Panini Select 2013, uh, that chromed up finish, not numbered. We'll get to more numbered stuff as we get later on in the uh, the years here. And then we do have the Topps flagship. One thing that's interesting, so Marte was a rookie in 2012, played in 2013 for the Pirates. He really just stayed up with the Pirates ever since uh, in those early years. But he did not get a rookie uh, or a Future Stars card until 2014, so I'm not entirely sure why that is. Uh, but here's the flagship card from 2013 with that classic 13 Topps design and then the chrome variation as well. And then here is the, I believe this is from, gosh, I can't read through the phone. Hold on, let me pull this up here. I'm not sure what release this is from. I'll put it in the video. I just don't know off the top of my head. Um, this might've been one of those archives cards, but it's that 72 or 73 design. I can't remember which year that is, um, but still a really cool card. Again, it has that like car more cardboardy feel to it. Here is the Spring Fever insert from Topps 2013. Uh, I believe this was just a insert set in flagship release, uh, but still a cool card nonetheless. I like that gold background design. That's not a parallel. That is just the regular card design. And then we have this Making Their Mark. Um, this was kind of an insert set as well for some players with his first Major League home run. So some of the... Different players that were in this checklist would have different, you know, stats on their card. Uh, this was Marte's first career home run, July 26th of 2012. So kind of commemorating that. Then we move to 2014. And we have, I tried to start putting the um, flagship cards at the front. So I'll probably go back and do that with the other cards there. But uh, here is the flagship card. And as I said, this is 2014. So two years after his rookie card in Topps Update 2012, uh, but finally got that Future Stars notation. So I actually have two of these. These are just the regular paper versions of this card and the Chrome variation as well. And then we have another Gypsy Queen card, still some of that those classic Gypsy Queen designs rather than uh, the, the designs that we're used to more nowadays, but this is just the regular, at least they got rid of that yellow background on the back. Uh, but still a cool card to have, 2014 GQ. Uh, this one, I certainly did not open any 2014 museum collection, but did get this card um, on eBay, or I think from a lot or something like that. Uh, but the 2014 Topps Museum Collection card, this is probably the first of this uh, run that I got that was more of a higher end, thicker card stock. Uh, also have this Bowman. So this is a base Bowman paper card for Starling Marte 2014. And the Bowman Chrome variation of that card as well. And then Topps Heritage. I really like this card. I really like that profile pick on there uh, with that design there from Topps. Uh, but again, with that throwback design on the back as well as the front. Still really enjoying this. Really like that card a lot there. And then some Panini products. So Donruss had diamonds, came out with the Diamond Kings again uh, in 2014. So this card here, the Diamond Kings insert. And more Donruss. This was the base Donruss card design from 2014. Uh, this one, I'd been hunting this one down for a while. I had seen it at my LCS uh, a bunch of times and then never bought it. But finally did buy it. This is the Panini Prism Purple or Fuchsia parallel of this card uh, obviously an on-card autograph there which is sweet um, but it is numbered out of 99 this is number 93 of 99 there on the back still a really cool card it's weird that they cut off so much of his head but I guess it makes sense because they didn't have the uh, the rights to the logo so just move up the picture or the cropping there uh, this card here I did get on eBay it was a redemption from whoever purchased or, or got this card. Um, I, they never took the top sticker off, which I'm very thankful for, and neither will I, um, but still an on-card autograph. So this is actually from Museum Collection as well. Dual relic there, not a patch or anything, just regular old black napkin relic, um, but it is numbered out of 99, so 31 of 99 in the top left. And then again, just the on-card autograph, really nice card, really good condition, has never seen... Um, 
been or never been out of this case, which is super nice as well. Uh, moving on, readjust here. Uh, 2015 stack of cards, classic 2015 design with that squared off logo in the bottom. But here is the flagship 2015 as well as the chrome variation. Uh, I, somehow I got two of those chrome variations um, from 2015. We have the, I don't, so this is from Topps Heritage. I think this was an insert set this year um, with this style of back, but still a really cool card. It's kind of that, it always makes me think of that Mini Minoso card. Um, but again, just kind of a nice heritage card from an insert there. From an insert set, I should say. Uh, here's Penny Prism from 2015. I have two of those. Again, not sure how but we do. Uh, and then I do have, so this actually, I have, this is the base version of this card out of 225. This is from Topps Tier 1 in 2015. Uh, this is numbered out of 225 on card autograph there. Really nice card with the Pirates, look, Pirates uh, jersey on. And then here is the out of 25. This is number 2 of 25 in the same card, the New Guard autographs, uh, but still a really cool card to have definitely low numbered out of 25 i don't know if it's considered black or because it's the bronze ink uh, the other one was just the regular blue ink so very cool set of cards uh, this one i also have two of this is an insert set career high 41 stolen bases in a single year um, from 2013 or 2014 is when he hit that stat but this is the 2015 uh, flagship release of the insert set so two autographs there they are sticker but still pretty cool. And then an insert set from 2015 opening day. This is uh, the hit the dirt, him sliding into home plate, hopefully being safe, uh, but knowing the pirates, he probably was called out. Here is the Donruss Elite uh, or Panini Elite. I'm not sure if this came from a specific, again, uh, release of Elite Baseball or if this was part of like a Chronicles. And then we have the Bowman Chrome from 2015. Very nice. I like this design a lot. I think it, it's cool that it has the name on the side with kind of a more plain side on that one. Uh, we've got the Bowman's Best again. So another Chrome variation or Chrome finished card. And the plain old Donruss card from this year. 2015 Donruss design. Very similar to the 2014 Donruss design, um, but still a nice card there. And then this one here, I actually recently picked up. Uh, this is from Topps Supreme, which is obviously, if you're familiar, not a product anymore, uh, but a nice on-card autograph on a very thick stock of card, if you can tell. Uh, not numbered, but still a nice card there. Kind of a nice blue ink autograph with that blue border on the card. Uh, moving forward, 2016. We have... Bowman's Best again, so 2016 uh, returns Bowman's Best there. I have two of these two of these cards. Uh, they are chrome variations, so a little bit thicker card stock. I've also got two of these cards, so this is the Diamond Kings uh, ver variation, or not variation, but Diamond Kings base card. Uh, this one's super nice. I like this card a lot. It's an on-card autograph, again, from Topps Tier 1. You can see the Tier 1 logo up there. It's called the Prime Performers Insert uh, with the on-card auto on the left, his picture on the right, and this is numbered out of 299. It is numbered 144. I like, the, I like when the numbering's on the front. I just think it's nicer and easier to look at, easier to see. Uh, here is the Donruss Paper and Donruss Optic cards from 2016. And then Donruss 2016, I think this was an insert set with the throwback design, but still cool to see his um, concentration, I guess, on the game there. We do have the flagship design from 2016, as well as the chrome variation. I believe I have two of those. And then the 2016, I believe this would be from Update, um, All-Star Game insert, since he did make the All-Star Game that year. Here's another base uh, museum collection card. So this one's pretty cool. I like this design. Again, it has those black borders, but still in really good condition. A little bit thicker cardstock. Um, pretty cool card there. And 
the this is an insert set from Topps flagship in 2016 um the franklin i, I don't really know what I, I don't know if it's to, i think just Topps franklin i guess i don't know um kind of cool i guess they partnered with franklin one of the manufacturers of you know baseball gear and stuff like that so kind of cool there and then we do have the 2016 gypsy queen design uh, and he was on an insert as well on the walk-off winners insert set from 2016 gypsy queen and here's what the backs of those look like all right moving on to 2017 and then i might pause the video and do a second one um but here is the start so we do have the regular paper bowman from 2017 We've got the Allen and Ginter uh, 2017, kind of a nice like oval frame to the card there. He also has a relic in 2017, Allen and Ginter. So it's a Jersey relic, just like a gray napkin relic there. Um, this is an insert, or not an insert. This is actually the base card from Topps Finest of 2017, which is pretty cool. Another chrome up, chromed up card. Here's the Donruss Optic. I guess I still need the paper Donruss from this year, uh, 2017, but here's the Donruss Optic variation. Uh, Bowman Platinum from 2017. And then here is the flagship lot of cards. Um, here's the paper flagship from 2017. Here's the opening day version, kind of the same design, just with the opening day, a little bit cheaper card stock on there. And then two of the Chrome... Uh, Topps Chrome from 2017. I've also got Gypsy Queen. I've got two of these Gypsy Queen cards. Again, would love to get this signed. One of these signed in person. I think that'd be sick. We have Topps Definitive from 2017, which is awesome. This is numbered six of 50. Um, I got this one on eBay. I think I paid two or three dollars more than some of the other ones that were listed. I'm a sucker for these verified or like stamp of approval relics. Uh, it had a pretty cool patch there too, part of the Father's Day Blue Pirates logo, uh, and as well as being jersey numbered, so jersey number six uh, out of 50. Um, so really, really cool there. Again, I'm a sucker for those codes on relics. Uh, here's a nice thick card, again, tier one. This is numbered out of 200. Nice blue ink on card autograph there. Uh, this one is from Panini Immaculate. I like this card because it's super thick. Uh, this is also numbered out of 99. I don't think it's a parallel. I think Immaculate is one of those releases that every card is numbered, uh, and I think every base card is numbered out of 99, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so just had to pick it up. It also kind of has that gold foil look to it on the card. Here is another higher-end release. Uh, so Tops, I think this is Tribute. Um, yeah, the T is for Tops Tribute for sure. So 2017 base card from Topps Tribute. And this one, I always am a sucker for anything Inception. Just with that slightly thicker card stock, I just, I've always loved the design of Inception cards. Very simplistic in terms of the, the writing on the card with that kind of color burst in the back. Really enjoy this card. Uh, this is not numbered. It's not a parallel, but still a cool card nonetheless. Uh, and I'm going to stop there. I'm going to stop there. And then in the next video, we'll go on with 2018 and above.